Success team. All right, welcome everybody to our first uh, fall success team meeting. It is September uh, the 5th, and we want to just say welcome to all of you who have joined us here, as well as those who may be listening to us later via the recording. We want you to know you are part of our family, part of this team. And we thought we'd start off this uh, new, uh, quote unquote, new uh, year, uh, starting here in the fall with a little bit of a different format. So Carl and I are going to be uh, kind of co-hosting. Um, and, and Pete, of course, is our fearless leader. And uh, we hope that you enjoy this format. We're trying to tighten it up a little bit and keep it to 30 minutes. Uh, we'll end the recording. And then if you want to stay on to have a chit chat, um, then you're welcome to do that. And we're going to call that a segment called what's on your mind. So you can stay for that if you wish. So welcome again. I'm gonna turn it over to Pete because we have a new segment here that we're gonna do each and every uh, time we meet and it's called Breaking News. And so what in the world is our breaking news for this time, Pete? Well, thank you so much, uh, Judy, and uh, also Carl for organizing this new format that you're about to see here. And uh, in the breaking news, I'm pretty excited about the fact that uh, my fiance Hannah's on the call, and uh, she just uh, days away, or maybe weeks away, from knowing if she'll get her U.S. visa and be able to attend the convention in Orlando, Florida. It's almost sold out. Anyone sitting on the fence thinking about it, uh, want to encourage you to get yourself booked. We're in for a really good treat this year because we've got uh, the famous John Maxwell coming as a guest speaker in Orlando at the LifeWave Annual Convention. But uh, again, if you're sitting on the fence, no time to wait. Get your flights booked and get your ticket booked. And I'm super excited about the sale we got going on this week, the X39 and Eon in Canada, 20% discount, a uh, huge uh, discount for anybody interested in that. So Nettie, there's your answer. You just called me asking me what the sale was. And uh, we're really excited about what's going on with LifeWave. And I'm super excited to see this new format on roll here and have participation from everyone, but uh, Carl and Judy heading the show. So uh, I'm super excited about the Canadian Road Tour. You're going to hear all about that tonight. So Judy, back to you. All right. Thanks, Pete. And uh, just uh, following up on what you were talking about for the promotion, in case someone doesn't know, it's $134.95, I think it is, for the X39 and Eon uh, bundled together. So that's great. And I just thought I'd let you know a little quick tip. Some people have asked me, when is it over? I don't know when it's over and I can't find the email that originally came out with the- It's Sunday, Judy. It ends Sunday. I, I know. I was just going to give this tip, Pete. So okay. people have been asking me, they don't seem to know when it is. And of course, I do know the answer. But what I have found out that I'm passing on to everybody on the call is that whenever you're not sure when a promotion is over- what they're doing on the website is that if you go to your shop tab and go to the promotions and um, as if you're going to put that promotion into your uh, cart to purchase it right there on the picture below the actual promotion it has the date range of when it started and when it's finished so that's a really nice feature in case you're wondering when a promotion is done, we can't always remember all of that. It's always in your back office under shop and under the word promotions. So just a little tip for everybody since I had a few calls on that this week. All right, we're going to move into um, the rest of our call. We always started off with our breaking news. We then sandwich it with a 15 minute presentation and then a seven minute Q and A and then five minutes from Kai. And then we have a one minute wrap up. So we are going to get right into it. We're starting off with our presentation. And today we've decided to do a talk on how do you successfully invite people to whatever it is, whether it's coming to a home party or whether it's going to a Canadian roadshow, what are some of the tips that we all have found have been helpful. I'll start off with my five minutes. And that is I have two very quick tips for you. The first one is, in order to invite well, you need to first set the goal. Set your intention of how many people you would like to say you want to have come. And it can be a little bit beyond what you think you're capable of, because lots of times it'll happen just because you're thinking about it. So set your goal, set your intentions, 
believe in yourself and be intentional on what you're and who you're thinking of of uh, inviting. Um, I'm going to have a little exercise here right now. I'd like everybody to go to their chat. If you know how to go to the chat window down at the bottom, you'll see the chat. Um, and what I'd like you to do is type in five names off the top of your head that you think you might want to see coming to the Canadian Roadshow in your particular province. <clears throat> you don't have to, you don't have to have it all figured out. Just who are five names. And let's see if we can do it in the next 30 seconds. Go. Everybody start. <laughs> and just first names only. Yeah. Okay. Just first names only. I'm doing it too. And, and it's going to go to everybody and everybody can look at their chat. Just put in the first names. Yeah. I think it's really important what you said there is to be intentional. Set those names up. Set those Great names idea. up. Put them down. It's a, it's it. You're you're actually starting to be intentional just because you've got those names down, and um, it will make a difference. All right, I'm done. I see that um, Bonnie is done, and PR. I'm not sure who PR is. That'd be me. Oh yeah, that's Pete Redicop's done. He's got his names in, five names. You could have five, 10 more. I see Hannah's got her names in. Excellent. I think Kai's got his names in. <laughs> Judy P. Carl. <laughs> oh, Kai, you're too. I'm, che I'm cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Kai. Okay. So everybody that hasn't done it, keep doing it. Even though we're, we're um, moving on, I see what you've got there, Carl, too. You know what? Those five names may not be the five names, but you have put down the intention. Make sure that you follow through with those names. Maybe those are the people that will say yes, maybe not. But here's point number two. A lot of people have trouble on the phone. You need to pick up the phone, not send them just an email or a text. Pick up the phone and invite them, be enthusiastic. And I would like to do a little role play to demonstrate the technique that I use. Now, I'm not the only person that knows how to do this. Everybody on this call, we all have ways of talking to people. So please don't think that this is the only way to do it. But I just thought it'd be helpful. I learn better when I hear it, when I see it being role played, rather than just somebody talking about principle, principles and ideas. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's pretend that I'm actually now going to go on a call and I'm going to invite this guy that I don't know very well. His name's Carl. Okay, here I go. Ring, ring, ring. Hi there, Carl. It's Judy. How are you doing today? Hey, Judy. Long time no hear from. How are you doing? I know. I know. I'm sorry I haven't talked to you for a while, but you know what? I am, uh, I'm just wanting to take a minute of your time. Is this a good time for you right now? Yeah, I got a minute. Go ahead. Go All for right. it. All right. Thanks, Carl. Hey, listen, you know what? I'm really excited about something. You and I have already talked a little bit about that I'm involved in the health industry and there's a revolutionary new type of health product that will actually stimulate stem cells. And I would like to have you come with me to hear the top experts from the company who've never done a Canadian roadshow. They're, they're coming in from the United States from the head office I'd love to have you come with me. Would that be something that you'd be interested in if we could go together? Uh, sounds interesting. Um, I don't know a lot about stem cells. I've heard something about it. And I remember talking to you a while ago, but what's uh, what's the big deal with this technology, I guess, if you can tell me something a little more. Well, you know what, Carl, that's a really great question, but that <clears throat> that I'd like to leave for you to hear it from the experts. If we could go together, you're going to hear a much better um, answer than what I could give you. In the meantime, yeah, I can send you a two or three minute little video to give you just a little bit of information. But I think by being there, you'll be able to get some of your questions answered. I think it'll be a much better use of your time than for us to talk on the phone for 15, 20 minutes on what this technology is all about. So um, 
I would love to have you come. I think you're going to really enjoy yourself and you're going to meet some like-minded people. So my question is, so what's, is, okay, sorry, go ahead. Is there a cost? I wanted to know, is there, is there a cost to going or do I have to sign up for something? Uh, I mean, I'm not sure I even want to do this, but what's the obligation in going? That's a great question. No, you don't have to sign your life away. There's no obligation. Nobody's going to pressure you. Certainly not me and not any of the other people that are speaking there. Uh, we're all coming just to kick the tires, to check it out. We want you to see what this company is all about. It's a it's a very um, interesting uh, product, but also the company is so well run. I think you'd be very impressed knowing your background, Carl. So there's no obligation. There's no cost. And by the way, it happens to be on September the 10th. Um, so I'm driving a bunch of people and I'd love to have you join us. Do you think that you can make time? Uh, it's at one o'clock in the afternoon that it starts uh, in here in Surrey. Do you think that you might be able to join us, Carl? Okay. Um, I don't. I don't live in Winnipeg, so there's a bit of a cost factor. Is anybody going from my area, or is there some kind of transportation I could arrange? Yeah, yeah, I'm absolutely offering to pick you up. And um, if you would like uh, to go on your own, I'd be happy to cover the cost of your gas and your parking. Absolutely no problem. All right, that, that sounds reasonable. Sure, yeah, I'll go along with you. I trust your judgment. So yeah, sure, put me down. All right, Carl, I'll be in touch with you for, with a few more details and I'll email that to you or would you prefer it to be texted to you? Yeah, text is good. I'll get right, it. Carl. Thanks. I'm looking forward to it. Just mark it on your calendar for one o'clock on the 10th and uh, I'll text you the details. Perfect. Thanks a lot for the call. Appreciate it. All right, Carl. Sounds good. We'll talk to you later. Bye for now. Bye-bye. All right. So Carl was a little cold at first, you noticed, and uh, he wasn't that interested. He didn't know really whether he wanted to come. And here, I had just assumed that he knew it would be free. And so he, he, he was kind of maybe holding back because of the cost to him. So you could see that once we could get into a little bit more of the details, um, I should have maybe led with, would you come as my guest, a complimentary invitation to come and hear? That would have been a better way to approach it. But it ended up that I was able to get Carl to change his mind from being cold and aloof to saying, yeah, you know what? I think I will because he trusted me and he came, but it took a little bit of back and forth. And Carl and I, by the way, did not plan uh, what we were going to say on this role play. That was completely, I was just dealing with whatever Carl was going to throw at me. We, we didn't have it scripted out, but I, I'm hoping that by doing a few of those, you can practice with somebody else if you're a little nervous and get used to sort of answering some of the objections that they might throw at you for why they wouldn't want to come. So I hope that was a little bit helpful. That's the end of my little presentation. And I'm going to move it over to Carl because he's got a couple tips to give as well. Yeah, just to um, just it's a good segue to a couple points that I want to uh, raise. Number one, um, nobody wants to go to an event alone. I mean, it's one thing to go there and be with people, but to go to the event might be an obstacle you have to overcome. I think the offer to pick up, if possible, or carpool with another couple is a really good way to get people to say, well, I'm not walking in cold. So there's that aspect of it. I think it's important that when possible, when it works, that you offer to pick them up. It's a powerful way of, of utilizing that transport time even to give them a little more insight, a little more backdrop to what they're walking into. So offer the pickup if possible or arrange it with others that you know. The second thing I want to offer as a tip is offer to register them. Now, wouldn't that be something? It's one thing to say, hey, would you come? And it's another thing to say, I can pick you up. But what if I register you? Because what's going to happen in that registration is they're going to get an official confirmation from LifeWay that they're registered for that event. And there's something about the fact that they have now committed to something that creates the obligation to actually show up. Really, nobody wants to say, I'll meet you for coffee and then not show up. Nobody wants to say, I'll go to the event and then not show up. But in saying that they're in showing them that you've taken the time to register them, 
they're going to say, well, I'm going. So two things there. Set the goal. As you said, that was an excellent one. I like naming the number of people that you're going to go. I'm going for 12. I think the offer to pick up is a great thing to say, hey, I'm concerned that you get there. You don't walk in cold. And then the fourth one is, you know, offer to register. Now, Pete, I know you've got some tidbits to offer from your years of experience. Give us one or two that you've shown to be effective in getting people to events. All right. Thank you so much, Carl. And uh, Judy, I want to just start off by saying you're on the hook now. Carl's objection was... Uh, the gas, and you offer to pick them up from Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I want to go with you, be picked up from Winnipeg, and I want to go to Surrey, BC, and since you're offering to pay for gas and parking, we're, we're going to carpool. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. All right. On a more serious note now, that was fun, though. I enjoyed that uh, role play. Now, as far as getting people uh, registered, and I was doing this today, it was part of uh, my to-do list today, and I started with the West Coast, and uh I'm thinking, who do I know in Vancouver area? So I made a couple of calls in Vancouver because it's the first event coming up. And my first goal is always to do exactly what Carl mentioned, is to get a commitment and to physically do the registration for them while I have them on the phone. If I feel they're quite capable of filling it out, and most people are, I send them the link. This is the link. Would you do me a favor and just quickly register for the event that you've just committed to attending? Now, as we move uh, further east, is Calgary and Edmonton. So then I think, okay, who do I know in Calgary? And then I get some answering machines and I leave a message. And But if I can get a live person, always best. And then share the date, uh, send a little information. And again, ask for the commitment of you know, getting them registered for the event in Edmonton or Calgary. Today, it was Bruce Thompson. I mean, I gave him a call. You know, lots of people in Edmonton. Bruce, like... This is your time to shine. This is your time to get some people out at the event. Can you register your people and get them to attend Edmonton, which is really close to your, your district? Called my friend in Ontario today, Boris. And I said, Boris, it's uh, coming up in Toronto here on the 16th. Would you like to go? And uh, I can register you or I can send you a link. These things really work versus just sending uh, a message stating that uh, there's an event in their area. I mean, some of them are brand partners that have fallen off. Some of them are prospects that you are people that you know, they're in your directory. So a physical phone call, telling them a little bit about it. And Ju Judy handled the role play really well when asked all kinds of questions about uh, what is the technology. So not getting into the details and asking for a commitment for them to attend the event at one of the live locations. I know we're working... Uh, Winnipeg area here for all of us on 18th of September and Ralph you and Margaret remember I mentioned it on the call 18th of September I know you guys are Roblin but I really would love to get you guys to come out meet Robin Mascari who's going to be live in Winnipeg stay at the Viscount Gord book a night and uh, just chill with us come out on the um, on the uh, Monday or come on the Sunday whichever you prefer or stay the Sunday the Monday night and then go back home on Tuesday. It's a great uh, uh, place to stay at. The food is amazing. And we'll get some time with Robin after the event. And Robin's flying in all the way from Bozeman, Montana. So it's going to be really a great time. So who wouldn't want to come out and meet uh, Garrett Johnson and Robin Mascari? But you know what? By doing this consistently, you have what well, we've got two solid weeks before the Winnipeg event. And most of us are going to be promoting, other than Judy, she'll be promoting the Vancouver event more but we'll be promoting Winnipeg. So you get on the phone and you share as much as you possibly can with excitement and enthusiasm and that you'll greet them or you'll pick them up. I got my car completely full coming out of Winkler. I encourage everybody to have their vehicle completely jam-packed and have a backup vehicle packed up as well and drive them right out to the event. So that is what I would be doing with everybody I'd know in the vicinity. So back to you, Carl. Thanks, Pete. Great tips. Um, so we want to open it up for some Q&A. Um, if you want to raise your hand, we'll acknowledge you and please uh, unmute yourself and ask your question. So based on what we're sharing, if you have any questions or even maybe a suggestion. And while everybody's thinking about what they want to ask, I wanted to throw something in um, on what Pete, what you said. If your car is completely full, it might actually be a wise thing to rent a van 
so that everybody can kind of feel like a family and come together. So rather than, you know, you could get somebody else to drive their own car full too, but I'm even thinking if my car gets too full, it would be, it would be a business expense. It's a write-off to rent a vehicle and uh, have everybody come together. Just a thought. Good idea, yeah. Judy. Great, great idea there. Anybody with any questions or ideas? You know, some of you are new on the call and, and this invite, you know, there is a there is an art and an etiquette to it and, and a lot can be said about it. So we thought we'd provide some helpful tips here. But if you've got a suggestion to make, please put your hand up and, and speak out. I know somebody um, who, when I first started network marketing, uh, used to rent a school bus and uh, and then make it a party. Like he, they, they go out on like part of it would be to go to the event. And then it was, this company was in San Diego. So they, they did a crew, a, an evening crew, you know, a, a, a sunset cruise afterwards kind of thing and kind of made it both. And uh, he filled, he had often had two to three school buses full of people oh. coming down for an event like that. But he would always tag onto it something fun to make it right. even more fun and bring, and not a van. He, got, he brought school buses and sometimes there'd be two. And so, one time there was three. And it was a great way to build your business. It was fun. And you know, to have maybe say, hey, well, I'll go, out, I'll go out for, for dinner afterwards. That way people can kind of process what they heard. They can talk amongst themselves and there can be a lot of good debriefing that can happen. And so um, you know, make it like a, like Kai said. I love that idea, Kai, to make it a little bit of a party and 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 do a, do a little bit of a of a dinner supper afterwards. Um, can really the dinner club, fun. the dinner club. <laughs> it can draw the live younger dinner club. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely, we're going to Vancouver for a great <laughs> like meal. <it. laughs> that's right. Well, and you know what the point here is. We want we want to create some fun in what we're doing here. It's not all business. It's not all serious. Create that I that air of brevity and keep it loose and inviting. It's, it's and uh, that'll be good. All right. Ralph, did you have something you want to say? I, I hear you're unmuted. So, yeah, I wanted to ask because on the 18th, I have to be in Red Deer, Alberta. So I was just wondering where, where else because. Uh, Winnipeg would have been my choice, all right, but uh, I'm probably going to have to miss it just on account of uh, this is a commitment I've already made. What about Edmonton? Um, do we have the dates here handy, Judy, that or Carl, that we can give for if you're in Red Deer, Edmonton either is, Calgary uh, or Edmonton yeah. or close by? Edmonton, I think, goes off on the 12th and the 14th is in Calgary, and then they move to Toronto on the 16th. And Winnipeg on the 18th. There's a two-day gap between all of them. 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18. Yeah. So Edmonton is September the 12th. Maybe that'll work for you, uh, Ralph. No. Had had it been uh after the 18th, like the 20th, it would have worked for me. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, okay. it's going the wrong way. That's but you can okay. still invite your guests, Ralph. Anybody that you may know in Winnipeg, yeah. you may have plenty of people you know. You can still invite them. We'll look after your people for you, Ralph. I'll keep that right. in mind if I have anybody. So, going. Judy, um, I, I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing any uh, any hands raised or any other questions. Um, if anybody uh, has a question, now's your time. Otherwise, uh, we're going to move into our next uh, segment. Uh, anybody have a last comment? Doesn't even have to be a question. It can just be a comment on uh, what is your best tip that you would give to somebody that you're helping them to grow their LifeWave business. What's a tip that you would give on uh, just what's worked for you on inviting somebody to come, especially if it's somebody's kind of a little bit uh, shy or they're not sure that they want to come or not. Have you dealt with that? And what's your thought? Anybody? Well, if not, then I've got one last quick tip to give. And that is some people don't want to come for the whole afternoon. When, when somebody saw that it was from 1 to 4.30 here in uh, Vancouver, that's way too much time. They didn't have that much time to give. And so guess what? Well, you can just tell them the first 45 minutes is the generic basic presentation of LifeWave. And then there's gonna be a 15 minute break. That's what Garrett has told us. 
There's a 15 minute break so everybody can stand up so that the people who want to leave after that don't want to stay for the more uh, in-depth information. They don't feel embarrassed. Some people don't want to come because they don't know how to exit gracefully and they don't want to be embarrassed by needing to exit early. So you can let your guests know that, that there is even a planned uh, agenda that will allow them to exit early. And a couple of the people that are coming with me <clears throat> may not want to stay for the second half. And so I said, hey, you know what? If you want to still come in my car, then they're shopping all over the place. Go for a nice walk, go shopping, and we'll all meet back at my vehicle at 4.30 at the end of the day. But I encourage you to come and just uh, listen in, even if it's not of, of uh, an interest to you at this moment. It could be in the future. Uh, so that's just a thought uh, for helping people to get past their their shyness or if they just feel like they don't want to give a, a two hours and a half to this to this um this thing that they don't even know why they're going to all right well we're going to move on i think that's an excellent tip e excellent tip judy excellent yeah. good excellent all right well let's move on uh we have so our next segment. we've got we've got a few minutes left here so judy yeah go ahead all right uh so we have our next segment called kai in the sky and we were sort of trying to have fun with these things and we're, we're calling these things different names breaking news Kai in the sky and what's on your mind. So we're at this segment now for five minutes. We've asked Kai just to take uh, take it away, give us any of his tips, uh, any of his wisdom. Kai, Kai in the sky, just the sky's the limit. Go for it. Kai in the sky, feeling high. Um, <laughs> gosh, you know, I didn't really plan on any, you didn't let me know there was a topic so I can talk about anything I want. Um, you know, I just would like to say how simple this business is. It really is one of the most simple businesses in the world. You know, it's really hard to do, <laughs> but it couldn't be more simple. And, you know, it's about staying steady and constant. And, you know, it's so simple. All, all you have to do is invite people to take a look and check it out and follow up with everyone that you invited and work with the willing. It's I know it kind of very redundant and repetitive about this, but that's how simple it is. And if you want, you know, whatever you want from it, you know, if you kind of want to get your product free, you know, just talk to a few people every week. If you want to make some nice extra money, talk to a couple people every day. And if you're serious about making a really big business, like I know Carl and Judy are and Pete, and I'm sure there's some other people here too, um, that would like to make it a bigger business, then talk to three to four or five people a day, new people. And invariably, what I find is if the person's business isn't growing, they're not inviting people on a daily basis to, to join. So I, every time I talk to anybody, you know, if I, they mean well, they intend to, but they just somehow don't. <laughs> and, you know, I'll say, well, how many people did you invite yesterday? Well, no one, but, you know, I got on two conference calls and I, I went through my back office and I organized things and I learned where this was and I watched four videos and did this. And I said, that's great. Those are good things. But you didn't invite anybody um, to take a look because that's what we get paid for. How many did you invite yesterday, the day before yeah, yesterday? And invariably, no one. And then it goes for the week. I didn't get a chance to really invite anybody. And that's why their business is at zero, not growing. It, it, it's every time. That's the only reason. Because if you invite people on a daily basis and stay consistent to take a look, you, you have no control over whether somebody joins or what they buy or how big they build. That's that's a mystery. <laughs> and uh, but But you do have total control of how many people you can invite to take a look. And you can do it by, you know, just using that InTouch app, people you bump into, Pete's one of the masters of bumping into people, Judy, go do things you love, go pick pickleball, go to the lake and fish. You're gonna meet people wherever you are. You're in the soup, I call it being in the soup together and you're gonna meet people. Or you can get really good at social media and join a lot of different groups and just connect with people. And after you make some connection with them, after a while, you can invite them to take a look at this, the ones that are interested privately. And whether you do it online or, you know, you can use um, even uh, the, I, I like using going after professionals, you know, like people that cut hair, people that are uh, 
chiro you know, chiropractors are a little hard, but massage therapists or personal trainers, you can just get on, on some of these sites, the, you know, the uh, Yahoo, or I forget what it is now. I'm going a little brain dead here. Um, but there's a couple sites where they have directories. Basically, just put in uh, personal trainer directories, and you'll find find that on on Yahoo, and uh, you know on, on Google searches. I'm sorry, Google searches. So that's what it is. And you can get infinite amount of phone numbers to call in whatever city you want, and start calling people and say a business to business call. You know, have you heard about this new breakthrough in, in stem cells and affordable Stem cell activation, if you use the word activation. Uh, I'd love to send you a little video on it. It really will help enhance your practice. These are people in business with networks. So you, you can always have four or five new call uh, conversations every day and follow up with the willing. And so it's always within our grasp to do that. And uh, it's that's that's what it is. It's so easy. And in time, you'll have a huge Thank business. Thank you. Go on. Go on, Carl. I thank you so much for, for what you say. We always want to give you that the guy in the sky, we're going to call it, we're going to keep it light because you have all those years of experience and we appreciate you weighing in uh, on our call. So we're at the bottom of our time here, but I want to give Pete, we're going to go over just a couple of minutes. Pete, if you could just take two minutes and just put a wrap on and land this call for us. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Carl and Judy, again for the, the uh, new format we have. And thank you, Kai my fearless leader and sponsor, Kai in the Sky. I kind of like it. I'm envisioning Kai in the sky. Oh, it's cool. Very nice. Well done. All right. Well, I just want to close it here by thanking each and every one of you for attending. And uh, I want to just uh, emphasize the speed of the leader is the speed of the pack. That's always been the truth in network marketing. And if you get excited, and I will promise you one thing, whether you're in Vancouver, whether you're in Alberta, whether you're in Toronto, or whether you're in Manitoba, the person that's going to have the most invites, the most attendees at this event coming up is the person that's going to be growing the absolute fastest come the Canadian Roadshow Tour ends. So I want to encourage each and every one of you not to just look at five or three invites. I want to encourage everybody to look at 10, 20 invites because statistics show if you invite 10, 20, you might get five that actually show up at the event. That's the reality. So don't focus on three. And, yeah, I got my three. And sit there at the meeting, be disappointed if only one shows up or no one shows up. Trust me, I've been there many times in the 30 years full-time in network marketing. So uh, get the business hat on, do it with intention, and just uh, talk to everyone you know. This is an exciting time for us. We've got to pack that building in Winnipeg for sure. I know Judy's intentions are the same for Vancouver and uh, it's going to be absolutely great. So I just want to challenge each and every one of you, whatever goal you've set, I want to encourage you to double, to triple the goal right now because it's a prime season right here before this uh, road tour starts. And I want to uh, thank Robin for making the commitment and coming to Winnipeg. And it's going to be a time for us to really socialize and gather and learn from her years of knowledge and wisdom. It's going to be great. So thank you again, Judy and Carl and Kai, and have a wonderful night, everyone. Sounds good. Well, listen, I, we're going to end the recording, but we're inviting all of you to stay on for the last segment, um, which is what's on your mind. And it's a free for all. So we can talk about patching. We can talk about all kinds of stuff. So stay on the call if you wish, but otherwise you're welcome to, to leave. And we thank you. And we're looking forward to seeing you when the first Tuesday of every month. So that'll be October the 3rd. Mark that on your calendars. Thanks again, everybody. On behalf of Carl, myself, and Pete, and Kai, have a good evening. <laughs>